Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival, and here we are. It's a nice foggy morning, and for once it's a quiet morning. The drones haven't arrived, which is could be useful because in this video, what I want to do is work on the blueprint ship that I started creating in the last part. This is the Nightshade Mark II from Spanch. It's, it's a pretty good all-round basic starter SV because of the updates for Alpha 9. I'm going to have to do a few changes to it, which will, will be the main focus of this video. My preferred option would have been to use the, Mark, the Nightshade Mark III Advance because this has actually got a short-range warp drive in it, but we don't have the Cobalt, so we're going to have to work with the Mark II version. But before we get into that, what I do want to do is to draw your attention to this ship. This is a recent upload from Chris Dolcet. It's the, a ship called the Fat Hauler and it's a fairly interesting ship. I've, I've looked at it in creative mode. You can see he's got 310 cobalt demand on this one. That's because he's got a short range uh, warp drive in it as well. It's, it's As the name implies it is a hauler. It's not a combat ship. It's got a, some light defenses but the main purpose is to haul stuff around and it's got a quite an impressive carry capacity of 32,000 and you can also see that it's got an unlock level of 20 but maybe as the game goes forward and I need to move something we will get maybe have a look at this ship but as I say at the moment I can't make a blueprint from it simply because I don't have access to the cobalt I think you can see here he's actually used carbon substrate to save weight which is one of the new interesting characteristics when you build a ship anyway let's get back to here what I want to do is try and spawn the ship so maybe it's slightly overhanging the edge that might do wow I think that's a little bit right on the edge which could ha, I don't think I could have got a bit closer to the edge than I wanted maybe it's a little bit too close never mind power so what we'll do is manage I'll drop this in here now the one one of the drawbacks of this ship is that it's only got the one fuel tank and it is quite heavy on fuel so what we're going to be doing is actually putting a a second fuel tank in, but we'll, we will come to that, guys. Just come. That third person. Okay, we're going to need to adjust the third person view as well while we're at it. That's better. It's going to move the ship back a little bit. That should be enough. I'm just going to power off because it doesn't have a fridge so I'm just going to pull back a little bit and just give you guys a bit of a tour you can see it's an interesting design I actually quite like the design of Spanish ships he does some very good quality ships but what makes this ship useful from the perspective of what I want to do is that he's got this whole area here and bear in mind this ship is pre-alpha 9 so it doesn't have the new extended cargo containers in it and what we can do is remove these and convert these into extended cargo containers but before we do that what I want to do is just get into here actually let's go up inside because I want to talk about something else as well this is the large constructor I must admit that I used to always do this walk up to the large constructors to build things then I got out of habit and I used to use the P command to come in and do it and since Alpha 9 I've almost gone back to the old way of doing it and actually I've preempted something here so what I need to do is get into here small vessel what do I need well I need the Gatling gun because I need an extra Gatling gun Tano don't need an ammo extension we got I think I'm just gonna unlock those for luck. I don't need them at the moment. Can't use the warp tanks. I think the other thing I want is here the wireless connector. There's one thing when we go out and do some raiding, what I want to do is try that out. To see whether that will actually help prove the lo the looting. I think that's about it. And what I'm gonna do is come in here. What I want to do is what do I want? From here, first thing I want is a fridge because this ship doesn't. I'm just going to put the power on. 
we want the wireless connection I need another fuel tank I can find it and I would really love to have the mobile constructor but you can see I don't have enough cobalt alloy for that but yeah that, I want another fuel tank then of course what we need is a controller I think I need I need at least 20 of these but I don't think that's enough I also need a detector which needs to, oops because I need to put that on another thing also and this is a tip given to me by Alorain I think that's how I pronounce your name he posted a comment and said that the small constructor even though it's got limited range it actually has draws less power so if you could make it simple things like what I want to do here is make some ammunition so I think if we make about 30 of that that would give me 3,000 rounds of ammunition so the small constructor is a very good way to knock out the the more basic components when your main constructor is knocking out the more complex components and it also saves a little bit of power anyway while all that's doing it in fact it's probably a lot of it's already finished let's just get into here what we're going to do is retrieve some blocks from here so we're just going to take out this along here first And across the top here is going to be the first tier of my new carry capacity. It's going to take this out along here. I'm just going to just take this out here. Also want to take out the two oxygen containers. Now for some reason Spange put three generators on this ship and I've tested it in creative mode and I'm not sure why you put three generators in here I don't know if it's for balance but what I want to do is take one of them out I mean if any of you guys know the reason why I would need three generators in a ship of this size feel free to put it in the comments I'm just gonna put that there do is just put that oops I got I'll count a couple of these while I'm looking at it. Um, I will be taking this ship up into space, so I'm going to put the oxygen containers back in again, like that. The next thing I want to do is take out these cargo containers on this side, on this side. I'm going to be putting one back in again. But for the moment I want to take both of them out and the next thing I want to do is take out this here now if I actually sound like I know what I'm doing here is this is because I've already practiced these changes in creative mode and this is something I would strongly recommend you do I'm just gonna pick that thruster back up again what I want to do is bring this thruster back a little a little bit to about there now I'm bringing the thrusters back for two reasons one to make a little bit more space here also that I intend to put a Gatling gun on the front here you can just take those blocks off as well while we're at it and you can see one of the weaknesses of this ship is that it's got a the RCS is very near the front but that is only one of six um, RCS is so it's not that great a risk and let's just get back to here get into here I just want to take that thruster out I'm doing the thrusters one at a time because you can see how close the thrusters take me to the max capacity which is one of the fun elements now of oops Actually, that's I think that will work. I 
think before I move the next thruster, I need to hook up over here. And I want the fridge and the wireless connection if I can see it. The generator I can shut. Actually, let's put the do this properly. Should be able to put the generator into storage here. Actually, we'll put these walkways in. Don't think I need these walkways and railings either. Put one of these back into here. Well. Drop the fridge in there. Because I don't want the fridge destroyed. Put the wireless connector there because if we lose the wireless connector, it's not going to be the end of the world. Come back here. Let's go take this out. This thruster bank. That brings all three thrusters back that way. Which I could probably do a, a connection, can I? I'm just going to put this generator that way. Oh, it's a fuel tank, is it? Just make sure. Don't want the generator. Break the connection because I'll click the wrong one. That's better. Can understand why that was missing. What I want to do is just insert the fuel tank there. And Great. What we're going to do is put the cargo box back in. And what ideally what I'd like to do eventually once I've got the cobalt is put the, the SV constructor in there to make that complete. I think that is about it. Now oh, I've lost the connection again. What we got is I want that, that, we can have that there. Some steel blocks, that's not a problem. What I need to do is put. I'll put that in there like that. Then my first tier of it can go in there. And because that controller saddles over the top, I put these in here. That will eventually form a collection when I put the next layer in. So what we're going to do is just put this layer in here. Now one of the interesting things about these extended cargo boxes, if I, well, let me just put these in and then I'll show you. I'm just going to rotate these round like that. If I come out of here, go back to this tool. If I point at that, you'll see that they've got 100 hit points compared to the 50 hit points of the steel blocks. So you're actually increasing the protection, not by much, but enough. It will make a difference. My main concern is I'm not too sure why that I'd want to put them down here, or like, let's say up around the cockpit here. Simply because, well, I'm just not sure whether that will actually work. If you say, for example, say you brought all the containers out here, you could, because you could bring all the containers out here. One, I'm not too sure whether the ship would be able to take off if it was fully loaded, but also I'm not sure of the consequences that if you were in a battle, and fighting and you started losing containers here whether you'd actually lose the content of of your uh, ca you know your your ca cargo because i'm not sure how that mechanic actually works where's the gatling gun did i make the gatling gun 
Don't tell me I didn't make a Gatling gun. Oh, that's just crazy. Okay. So we come in here. Let's do it the other way. Actually, while I'm at it, let's just group those up. Base constructor, small constructor. I know it's not really necessary, but. Yeah. I'm just going to make another Gatling gun. I can build. Still got the connection. We've only got two blocks left. What I'm going to do is put the. A block. Just a normally square block. It's going to break the aesthetic of the ship. But there's not much I can do about it because what I want to do is just put that. Actually, I could put that there actually. And that might give a bit more protection to there. And then I can. As you may have guessed, I've gone slightly off plan now. I'm just going to leave that block there. What happened to that? Oh, it's gone into. There it is. Yeah, it's one of the downsides if you've got this link in. It will send anything you you deconstruct into here, not into your player inventory, which is quite useful if you're picking things up. Yeah. Just put, just rotate that around. That can fit in that corner. That can fit in that corner. You can see, because I've gone off script, I've, I've miscalculated. It's not a problem because we're going to be making some more of those blocks. We're going to just put the the Gatling gun in first. Now if you watch see the Gatling gun, the Gatling gun is going to stick a long way out the front which is another reason why I've actually moved the thrusters back to try and keep the center of gravity around where the cargo extension is because I can't remember who actually gave me the comment but when I built my first ship it was tail heavy. Somebody pointed out that the way that the the loading or the center of the gravity is calculated or the cargo is that you it's based on where you put the the cargo controller in so what what you need to do is put the cargo controller as close to the center of gravity as possible I mean if that's wrong guys feel free to come correct me I'm just gonna come here now we're gonna do the next tier of extensions so I'm gonna start so I don't really want to come to here, so I think we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, four, five. Yeah, that's lined up, so I need another fifteen. Control blocks, uh, not control blocks, what am I on about? I need another 15 of. Where are they? Just make sure, yep. So, one, two, three, four, five. And that will fill in just while that's building, just to show you. Group those up together. Container. You can see I've now got to 2625. Actually, while I'm looking at it, I want to keep those blocks for the moment. And we've got the fridge, we've got an ammo box. I suppose what we could do is pick up the ammo while we're at it as well. Oh, let's put that there. I should be able to do this directly to the ammo box without going through the ship load mechanism. Here, yeah, I'm out yet yeah, 3000. You can see also that, that what's actually happened is that because I've put an extra fuel tank in, the fuel capacity has dropped in half. But we can fix that by putting that in. As I say, this ship is a little bit heavy on for the fuel consumption, which is understandable, really. Yeah, I 
think the other thing I want to do now is do a little bit of work around the back of the ship. There's the small blocks, of ten should be enough. This, this is all a little bit exposed. Come there. Just going to take those out like that. Oops, don't want that. F4. No, I don't want F4. Just pump that there. What am I looking for? There we are. I think we can have a fairly thick plate there. There's a gap under it as well, so you can rotate that into there like that. Gives a little bit more protection. And the sponge, if you ever watch this video, apologies for doing what I'm doing to your ship, but as they say, needs must. And I think I think you might appreciate and enjoy it anyway, so I'm just going to drop that in there, like that. Now we need. I think if we rotate that, that's not going to work, is it? Oops. Yeah, I think that should rotate it. Position. No, it won't, because it's um, I'm being an idiot. That's better. I guess it's there. And that gives some protection to the thrusters where they stick out on the back. Like that. Containers. I'm going to do. I mean, one of the things about containers is that you can literally put them anywhere you want, in any shape you want. You could build a ship completely out of containers. I don't know how much that's going to work weight capacity wise. I want that. I built the right ones. It's got a horrible thought, I just built the wrong ones. Air container controllers can read. Oh, that was a major fail there, guys. 15 container controllers. <laughs> What a derp. Oh, extensions. Can't get extensions. There we are. And we'll be able to put those container controllers back into the deconstructor once I actually get the cobalt. Mix that up. While that's building, I just want to talk about something else. It's quite an interesting point that was posted by. Huston Patch. He, I, now if any of you guys follow Spans, you'll be aware he came across a, a base attack scenario. It was a very interesting thing to watch. And I, I mean, the only reason I can see someone creating that scenario is, well, for two reasons. One, it's just the devs testing out the weapons of NPC players because wandering around trying to find them like you would in a normal game isn't particularly that efficient. So I can imagine what some of the devs would do is get them to come in and attack. You can see the power of their weapons and also have some quite a lot of fun doing it as well because it was it was pretty exciting when Spanish fought it and of course he got shot to pieces because of the sheer number of waves. And the other reason is that they are planning to introduce this mechanic into the game. The one thing I would say is while I'm not completely opposed to it, I don't think it should be the same as the drone attacks. It's going to have to be something we're going to trigger. And the mechanic I would think is that what they need to do is add another level of reputation, say above hostile, called warfare. So what happens is that if you upset a faction to the point of hostile, they start ra raiding you. I mean, it's like if you go back to the past when you had the vikings who would dash over the border and raid but it wasn't really warfare it was just the way of all the young bloods going out and having a bit of fun they'd go and raid their neighbor 
cause havoc and vice versa they the, the people on the other side would go over and do a bit of raiding as well and that was due to the fact that they were neighbors but they didn't really like each other but then every so often it would break out into hostile warfare and i think that would be the best way to actually implement the mechanic is that you'd have hostile then if you really annoyed them then they'd declare war and that's when the base attacks would start that would give players an element of control over the what's going on and i'm actually running out of food better break that and eat something It'd be embarrassing if i actually start to starve to death whilst actually making this ship anyway that's my take on it i, I must admit i'm i was half tempted to, to have a go at it because pat span shows you how to enable it but i'm always a bit leery about experimenting and changing the the base files of the game with respect to these let's plays because I've done it in the past and I've completely messed it up let's get back to yeah get back to constructor I don't want the container controllers where's the should be able to drop that there I'll just do it the easy way what I'm gonna do is just drop these in like that on this side and on this side like that last one should go in there that now gives us the working ship and if I well, cancel the drone when we come up and have a look what you will see is here and our so we've now got up the cargo capacity carry of 4500 which is pretty good to just put these blocks in because I like to carry some spare blocks that way I think the next thing now as we come in here we power the ship up don't need the oxygen it's starting to get dark what I'm trying to do is do a little bit of experimentation and get this done before it gets too dark so you guys can't see what I'm doing and what I want to do now is if we come in here and connect that up connect that oops I don't know why I did that and um, what we're gonna have is the nightshade bar two on this side fridge should be able to just power everything into here like that that means what I can do now is save a bit of fuel by powering this off I mean I will texture in or color in this ship to take it back to this original color scheme I think what we're gonna do now is just jump in what I will say is the one thing I, I have reservations with this ship and probably the easiest way to explain it is if I come out here is the cockpit because the cockpit is completely enclosed and it means that if for some reason say I fell off my ship now it would be quite difficult to get back in because there's no exposed sides I mean there's one way you can do it which is if you've got a multi-tool you can take a side block out generally this is not the type of cockpit I would use when you're building a ship I prefer a cockpit that's got sides on it you know, if I can fly this way I mean it flies pretty well what I want to do is just get some guns in I'm gonna get a bit of daylight so, so I can actually show the reason why I like the third Gatling gun I mean personally I wouldn't put more than three Gatling guns on a ship because if you need more than three Gatling guns you should be asking the question of, of why you're putting them on and maybe you should be using a different type of weapon say missiles or something like that plus more than three Gatling guns take, takes up so much ammunition you, you know you go through a phenomenal amount of ammunition but however the one thing I do really like is having a center mounted guns and the reason for that is if I can find a target out here somewhere amongst all the desert is that it provides a better aiming point I don't know can I see oh, the pangolin there sorry pangolin but if I come in like this it's gonna level off if you watch the way the guns fire see the center one the center one actually gives you a bit of an aiming point and it shows you the convergence of the three Gatling guns. And 
And while that's not particularly a great importance when you are taking down pangolins, I found having a centre mounted Gatling gun very, very useful. See, see what I mean? Because this cockpit's so small. But having a centre mounted Gatling gun is very useful for taking down Xerax patrols. Because quite often when I've attacked, like, especially the single characters, you're shooting and what has actually happened again, just to show you, is that, let's just come here, what happens is that because you've got wing, wing mounted guns, the distribution, so it's like, like this, see, the guns are actually hitting each side because the way the, the, um, the spread mechanic works, you could be aiming straight at a member of the Xerox patrol and completely missing the guy. Anyway, so get here. F5. Grab that. Oops, no, close enough. Okay, why? That's it, because I then picked up the marker on the on his body. Right guys, I don't want this video to be too long simply because I wanted this to be very focused on making the changes to the ship. In the next part, I think what we're going to do is get out. And I'm very interested in taking down these armories because they don't have massive external weapons and it would be a good test of the next thing I want to try out which is getting into an, an armory using the connection with the wireless connection, see what the range is so that we can loot out one of those container boxes. Also want to test the cargo carrying capacity of this ship. I get the feeling it's it's a little bit tail heavy. But I might be able to compensate that by putting some hardened steel blocks in the front. But at the same time I don't want this ship to be too sluggish. I mean I'll give you an example. I mean it's got frosted. Anyway guys I'm getting distracted. This is where I'm gonna leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.